If you want to build your own tool that will access the audio to face microservice, you can use Python. And we provide a bunch of examples of how to do this um, in Python using gRPC. So in this uh, video, we're going to look at uh, the files that you can download, how they work and how you can play with them and in incorporate them in your own uh, projects. So the first thing we need to find out is the URLs that we are going to need. We are going to download the, 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 the samples from github nvidia uh, slash ace. If you need to install github, um, you can go to their website and download from there. If you need Python, this is where you can download the installer for Python. If you are interested in learning about gRPC, how it works, the connection, the protos, and all these uh, the, all this vocabulary and glossary that is um, associated to gRPC. You can consult this website. They have great tutorials, great example in C++, uh, in Python, and, and other languages. So it's great. That's a great resource. Also, if you are interested in understanding the proto files that we're going to use, the protocols that we're using, um, they are uh, all described in the documentation. So you just go into the, um, the, the, the ACE documentation, A2F, and you'll find all of the details for the, uh, the gRPC uh, protocols. So let's jump in Visual Studio Code. And here, uh, right now, it's completely blank. I haven't uh, set up a folder. I'll just uh, point to a an empty folder, and it's going to be my ace uh, Python folder here. I'm going to select that, and right now it's empty. I'm going to create a new terminal, and this is where I'm going to do uh, most of the uh, operations. So if I want to bring in the data from uh, NVIDIA, the GitHub NVIDIA ace, what I'll do is I'll go to the site here. So it's GitHub NVIDIA ace, and what we need is this uh, URL here. So I'm going to copy this, and once done, I'm going to go here and say git clone and paste the data, and it's going to paste everything here. Here we go. And if we look at the files that were downloaded, they're all here. Most of the files that we'll be using are going to be in microservice, audio to face microservice. And here we have uh, scripts. The protos, if you're interested, they are all in there. But the scripts here that we're going to use, they are in the audio to face API client. There's other examples that you can look at as well. But the ones that we'll be uh, connecting to uh, or using to connect to the um, to the uh, microservice are in this uh, folder here. So once this is done, uh, we need to set up an environment to uh, for Python. So I'm just go pi dot m slash m sorry v i n v to create the environment. And I'm just going to use uh, VINV as my the name for it. And once created, we want to activate it. And that's just by I'm just I, I'm just going to copy this line here. So is, I'm just going to go into the activate script and enter that. And now my environment is activated. So now that we have that uh, activated and we've got all of the files needed, we are going to install um, a specific uh, uh, library. And that library is in the microservice. So I'm going to say, go back to my root here. And now that we are in the right folder, if I look at the, the file that's here, that's the library that we need to install. So for that, I'm going to type in pip install and the name of this file here. So I'm just going to go and grab it, copy it, paste it, and let it install. Then we need to go back to our uh, the folder where the, uh, the 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 main script is. And in this folder, you'll see that we have a requirements uh, file. So all the requirements, all the library that are required for this to work are listed in over here. So we have a function that can install all of that. It's pip install minus r and requirements. And now we're ready to start uh, using our Python scripts. You can go in and, and, and investigate all of these Python scripts. The one that we'll be using here is this one, nim underscore a2f underscore client. It's a pretty simple script. And uh, if you look at it, you'll understand how it works. When you run this script, it will require some, some text arguments when we call it from the command line or the terminal here. And what it's going to do, it's going to create a uh, connection to the audit to face uh, microservice using the the client service uh, uh, the Python script as well, and it's going to write by sending the audio file with the the header and the settings, and it's going to read back the data. And if we look at what's happening when we read and write, we can go into this file a2f client service. So a2f here, then we go into service here. Oops, 
I'm just going to leave the, um, the this one open and just drag this here so we can see both of them. And if you look at the service here, we have the um, the write uh, to stream, which will send the data to audio to face and it will uh, write the settings, the emotion parameters, and it will take that from a config file that we can provide. But if you want to provide your own settings, you can construct your settings here, or you can read your own file, you can create your own file. All of that is possible. And, and if you've played with Maya and you found out the, the right settings for your character, you can construct them here if you, if you want to. Then we're writing this here. And if you look at the read function for this, it's a bit higher here, the read function, what it does, it just gets the data, it gets the keyframe, and it, it saves them here. You see that the, the, the lines here, they're constructing kind of a JSON format, and then they're saving a, a CSV file. So when once we're where once we receive the data, it just creates a CSV file. If you want to use that data in, in your own way, in your own application and save it in the format that you want, this is where this is the, the part of the, the code that you, you can change. Let's say that I want to kind of simplify this. I see that uh, we have the, um, we, we need to provide an audio file. We need to provide a config file, which is uh, the config file we provide uh, uh, two, one for Claire, one for Mark. So the one for Mark is here. And the one, um, we have also a, a audio file for, for a sample audio file. So that's the one we'll use. They're all in, this, in the folder. So that, that's gonna be the easiest to use, but you can point to your own audio file if you want to. Um, we have the, we have to provide the API key and the function ID. Let's say that I want to change that. I want to kind of hard code it inside of the code. So I'm just going to comment out those two lines here. And I see that they are used here, like the function ID is provided here and it's provided there for the API key. I know that I want to use Mark. So I'm going to copy the function ID for Mark and I'm going to replace this part here by the function ID of Mark. And that's the, the we've, we've done that in Maya before. So that's the function ID. And I'm going to paste in my API key here, same idea. And now that I've got that ready, I can save this. And my script is ready to be used in, in the terminal. So if I want to, to run this script, I'm going to say pi, then the name of the script, which is nim underscore it's going to copy that from from my uh, here it's going to be simpler and then i need to provide the first argument is the audio file so the audio file here will be it's in the audio folder and it's called sample.wave so i'm going to put that in here i want to use the mark config file so i'm just going to copy the the full name of the of the of the uh, config file and then I don't need to provide the API key and the function uh, ID because they're already provided in the code. And when I'm going to execute that, it's going to create a CSV uh, folder in a CSV set of files in a folder. As you can see, the folder has been created here and you see the CSV files that have been created as described in the service here. Those are the files that are getting created and the frames here are, are saved as CSV. That's fine or save as CSV and you can console that. So if you want to save that in different format, like I said, or reinterpret it in your own, in your own way, in your own application, that's how you would, uh, that's how you would do it. So it, explore this and see what you can do with it.